Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to part two of my video for the outfits that I'm taking on holiday on vacation with me where I'll be going very soon. Um, so last time we spoke about daytime outfits, we spoke about bikinis, we spoke about swimwear. If you want to see that and you haven't then head towards my last video where you'll be able to see that and this time we're talking about the outfits that I'm going to be wearing at night time. Now I have a toddler so these outfits are going to be kind of dressed up but kind of casual and really easy to wear hopefully she'll be sleeping in a push chair a bit which will allow us to have a bit of adult time um i am going on holiday with my sister-in-law and my um b's grandparents ryan's parents my youngest nephew is only four months older than my little girl so they're going to be running riot <laughs> but also doing the same things which is going to be very useful so just a reminder about me um if you guys are new here i'm a size uk 12 14 i had a baby 18 months ago so I definitely carry weight in my tummy area and my body's completely different to how it was so I like to dress around that um, I'm a curvy girl so I'm going to be giving you guys lots of curvy girl styling tips that's super important to me and hopefully some of this will be inspiration to you guys some of the pieces you'll love and everything that I'll be wearing will be linked below so you can purchase or obviously just use this video for inspo we're not about always purchasing things new all the time so the first outfit that i want to show you excuse me that was a coat hanger <laughs> the first outfit i want to show you is this gorgeous red dress from damson madder obviously i will try it on so you guys can see it i have an obsession with red at the minute and i just want to wear red all of the time so this is just stunning because it's just really pretty summer dress it's going to be so easy to wear at night i love the kind of bow details at the front of the dress now damson madder is more of a maximalist brand i would say and i tend to be in the middle edging towards more of a minimalist vibe now i definitely get more maximalist in the spring and summer and then kind of pair it back in the winter that's just kind of how i like to dress and my style i also get a lot more feminine in the spring and the summer in my dressing so this is why the where the pretty dresses come into it and i just adore wearing them this has got a beautiful neckline it's really flattering you don't need a bra i'm wearing this in the uk 12 and i do think damson added sizes are quite generous i will say that um maybe maybe not maybe they're they're kind of normal to a little bit generous i would say and um, so this fits really really beautifully and again i do tend to go for a size 12 in dresses anyway it's a mini length so i'm gonna wear with like a little heel again i'm not taking big heels with me i have a toddler it's just not gonna work <laughs> so i'm gonna take a little heel with me i think i actually need to buy a new pair because i'm not 100 percent happy with the ones that i have here um so i'm gonna have a look and get a bit of a last minute purchase in and um, but obviously start with ones that i have already um and yeah it's a really beautiful dress it's so flattering in with dresses i tend to get ones that nip me in at the waist and then kind of poof out technical term <laughs> poof out over my tummy area my hips area because it makes your waist look a lot smaller and it's really really super flattering especially if you're curvy so that will always be the kind of shape of dress that i will gravitate towards the outfit that i've chosen next is actually an outfit that i was inspired by by a random girl <laughs> carrying on about her day walking through my local town local city and i was obsessed with her outfit couldn't get it out of my head and had to replicate it and obviously one of the biggest trends we have right now is leopard print i'm kind of scared of leopard print i don't know what it is but it's not always a print that i gravitate towards i'm not particularly when i talk about being a little bit more a bit more girly in the kind of spring summer i still do not really go for prints she says wearing a printed shirt <laughs> But this is more of a neutral print, I feel. When I go towards print prints, like florals, if I find a floral I like, it's rare. I never say never, never, but it's not something that I would really go for naturally. So when I saw this outfit, which was a leopard print mini skirt, I was like, you're mad. <laughs> but do you know what? I adore this look. It looks so good. Again, this skirt is from Dance and Madder. I've got it in a 12 it's on the more fitter side but I think the 14 would have been too big so I'm glad that I got this size obviously there's 
no stretch in it really so there's very little give this meant that the styling the way I want to style this I mean this is the way the girl styled it as well bless her <laughs> um but this is how I, I would want to style it anyway with the skirt being a little bit more on the fitted and short side is an oversized white t-shirt now this is not the white t-shirt that I want to style with this outfit. I've ordered one from Arquette, which is taking a million years to get here. I'm going to be wearing that. It's a kind of more shorter and boxier fit. But so you can see how this outfit will look. I'm going to show you with this t-shirt so you can kind of see the styling. But I love this really kind of simple look with a more dressed up skirt. Even though it is denim, I think it still looks quite dressy. It's quite dressy for me being kind of a mini skirt with an oversized t-shirt. It's such a cool, I've used this word before, I apologise for it, juxtaposition <laughs> of the kind of casual t-shirt with a more dressy skirt and then a little kind of mini heel. Um, I'll show you kind of what I have here. Um, but again, I might be purchasing some to be honest. And I just think it looks such a cute outfit. Again, it's super flattering if you wear something more slim on the bottom half to wear something oversized on the top. And it just makes me feel a bit more comfortable being a curvy girl and just a little bit more covered up which I do like. Now the next outfit is something that I've had for a while but have been kind of saving and it's this beautiful maxi dress from Mango. Until I try it on it is not going to do it anyway shape or form <laughs> any justice. I think I saw this dress on Monique who's like a influencer that um, or content creator that I absolutely love and have done for years and um, she has a really kind of simple beautiful style and wears really quality things but she does work with mango as well which is why I saw this dress on her I have this in a size what size is this large and the fit is actually potentially I could have gone for a medium but I do like the fit being this kind of way it's a really interesting dress because it actually has and if you can see here like a bralette fixed into it which I love for somebody who cannot not wear a bra with a dress although I'm going to contradict myself with one later on but you will see why this type of dress where it's quite flowy having not being able to wear a bra with it would just not work for me so having this kind of inbuilt bra into it i think is beautiful this is semi sheer so you will need to be careful of what kind of pants you wear underneath i would actually opt for like a high-waisted black pair so they're kind of seen underneath but not drastically if that makes sense because the sheerness is not huge i'm just making up words here just so you can see guys <laughs> But I just think this is such an easy dress to wear. I actually love the seam detail at the front of this dress. I think it makes the dress look really flattering when it's on because it kind of draws your waist, your eye to the middle of your centre of your waist and it kind of pulls your waist in a little bit if that's a decent way of describing that. Again, you'll see it on and you'll see how flattering it is. But it's such a beautiful dress, I think, when you're curvy. It kind of skims the tummy area, which is always going to be super flattering. And yeah, I just think it's beautiful. This next outfit is so beautiful. I've actually had it for since Christmas just after Christmas in the January sales from Netta Porter. I do tend to shop out of season for my next season pieces when they are more high end because I find you get some a lot more beautiful pieces that way for a lot discounted amount of money, which these pieces I'm gonna have forever. And it is this stunning cropped linen, long sleeved top. Um, and then it has a matching, which I'm not going to be able to show you well here, but I will of course try on for you, a matching um, maxi linen skirt, high-waisted linen skirt, with this kind of really cool, almost like beaded necklace, but it's a belt. And I just think it looks so nice on. The linen is beautiful. It's quite a thick linen, but it's still going to be really cool. Again, you guys will know that I do love wearing a crop top. I just have to make sure it's kind of in the most flattering way. And one of my favourite ways to wear a crop top is a crop top that's got long sleeves, is quite loose around the body, um, and then I wear obviously something um, high-waisted with that crop top. And again, there's probably a lot more flattering things that more flattering things that I could wear. 
I just adore wearing a crop top and I am not going to stop even if someone else tells me that there is something more flattering that I could be wearing <laughs> because I will always do adore a crop top and I just think it is such a beautiful look on and again you can wear the pieces separately which I adore I actually really want to wear this top with kind of a pair of denim shorts more casually because I think that's just going to look so good I have these pieces in um a large that one says that's a um australian 12 so that must be a uk 12 actually as well and again this is in the uk 12 as well um and they both fit really nicely there is no zip or anything in this top um but as long as you haven't already done your hair or your makeup <laughs> you can get this top on quite easily so the next outfit i'm really excited about <clears throat> i'm really excited about <laughs> and it's kind of a little bit more glam so um it is this beautiful vintage top that i got from vintage recently and it's kind of this lace white lace top that has like a button up the front and then i'll be wearing it again i'll show you this properly when i'm trying on with this skirt by six ms which is a maxi kind of beautiful satin maxi skirt and they just look so lovely together and this top as you guys know with kind of button up tops i would wear um with the buttons at the bottom kind of a few of the buttons undone because it will really is a curvy girl draw draw the, your attention to the middle of your waist and really be really super flattering and just make your waist look super small and it's honestly such a beautiful look i do find when you're curvy that satin skirts are so flattering they skim your tummy way more than you think they're going to obviously be careful of the fit this has quite an elasticated waist it doesn't actually i've made that up <laughs> it doesn't have an elasticated waist but the way that it fits is super flattering and this skirt from six hours i got in a, a 40 so either a 12 or a 14 i will double check back so obviously some brands i think 40s tend to be normally they would be a 12 but sometimes they do tend to be a 14 um and i do feel like this fits more like a 14 but it's such a beautiful flattering fit on me and i just think this is a really kind of different slightly more glam outfit i'm probably going to get food on it so i'm hoping these pieces will wash easily <laughs> Um, but I just wanted something a little bit more glam for whilst I was there. It's going to look fab, fab with a tan, obviously. Um, but yeah, I'll show you what it looks like on and hopefully you guys will love it too. So the next outfit is a dress that I have shown you guys before. This was on my trends for spring summer video, which you can catch, which is a few videos back. And this is a drop waist kind of jersey maxi dress from Fourth from Le Reckless. This is about one of the only dresses that doesn't have inbuilt support that I can wear without a bra. So that makes me very happy. <laughs> it's like a very thick jersey and it's quite compressive. So it kind of holds everything in place. I've also said to you guys how shocked I was that this dress as a drop waist dress actually seemed to suit me quite well because it's not normally these drop, drop waist dresses suit me so I do love this it, this is going to be one of those dresses when I just want to chuck something easy on maybe we're kind of just going for like a drink or something and then coming back and I just want to wear something nice you know for a couple of hours this is just going to be so simple so easy to wear probably with a really nice pair of oversized chunky earrings and this is just going to feel so easy and sometimes you just need those type of dresses on holiday especially when you're with a child and a young toddler you just need ease and again this i have in the uk 12 and it just fits really beautifully and it's just again such a simple dress i'll obviously show you guys the fit so you can see how flattering this drop waist is because honestly i was shocked so the next and final outfit for my nighttime vacation holiday outfits is again something that's quite easy and simple and slightly less dressy it seems very again these are not gonna i have to show you this show this on my body for you guys so you can see it because right now that just looks like a skirt <laughs> um but this is an ultra wide leg pair of trousers from cos and they ha have a um elasticated waist at the top um, and they are just so flattering and so beautiful and because of the kind of ultra wide legs i just think they offer something a little bit different which i just love and then i have this this is called like 
that I'm not going to pontel pontel oh I don't know but it's this kind of like small kind of like the type of thing you wear when you're a child <laughs> um but I just love this type of top I think it's beautiful I actually got it in the arc in an arcet sale very recently where they kind of have that constant like sale area and this is cropped and really beautiful I got it in a small but definitely could have gone for a medium as well it is more on the fitter side which I did want but potentially your medium would have been a little bit better and I just think this is going to be a really simple outfit kind of dressy with the trousers but then kind of making a little bit more casual with the top as I said we're just going on holiday with my child and um, my family so it's, you're not always going to want something super dressy for night time so I thought I have this more simple outfit I realise this is white and I have a toddler so yeah I think it's probably going to be a disaster and have to be washed as soon as I get home but that is how it is with all of my clothes and if they do not wash, wash well, well, it's not a good outfit for me to choose. So we will see how these things wash because they are new and I'm not really sure. <laughs> but I just think having the quite, for a curvy girl, having again, I say this all the time, but having that volume around your hips, around your tummy, around your legs is so, so flattering to make your waist look a lot smaller. And this is exactly why I went for these pair of trousers because I just think they're going to do that. Also, if it's kind of a warm night abroad, just having something really floaty and flowy like this is going to feel so easy and it's going to be such a simple lovely outfit to wear and um, trousers i have in a 42 which is what i always get from cost in um trousers and then the top again i have in a uh, small thank you so much for watching my video i really enjoyed doing my holiday outfit packing list it's actually been really good for me because it's meant i've actually got to think about what i'm taking with me i am obviously taking quite a lot of stuff because again it's where i get content but also I'm not over packing because I'm actually packing my outfits. Maybe with a few tiny enough to spare in case I get it covered in poo <laughs> or food <laughs> before I've even left the house. So um, yeah, it's just been a really fun task for me actually. Hopefully you guys have got some inspiration um, from these videos for your next vacation. I will be having a break next week from doing the video um, just because every so often I like to have just one week's break because I do do videos once a week which um, I love doing but obviously can be quite a lot of work so I will be having a break so obviously I'll be away um, and then I'll be back the week afterwards with a summer capsule wardrobe video. I did a spring one, it did really well, you guys loved it so I want to do a summer one, show you the kind of core pieces of my summer wardrobe which I will be reaching for which will be some will be the same as my spring wardrobe because they kind of cross over but some will obviously be um, different and new and yeah like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you soon.